Hi, my name is Liz Hathaway and this is my astrological take on this coming week. The week is sort of hemmed in on either side uh, by a difficult Mercury aspect. We have Mercury square Pluto on Monday, which is very much about the power of words, the way that words can force action, that can bring things about. Words definitely have the power to move us. And on Sunday, we have Mercury opposite Uranus, which again points to communication issues and possibly communication under pressure. And with the Libra influence, it's also about finding the right balance and possibly with Pluto in, Scorp Pluto in Capricorn and Jupiter in Scorpio, about this sense of right and wrong and about the desire to do the right thing. It's interesting this week, of course, that Jupiter moves into Scorpio and it moves into Scorpio on the back of a Mercury-Pluto square on Monday and a Sun-Pluto square on Tuesday. So there's a kind of contrast between light and dark, if you like, the Sun as light giver and Pluto as ruler of the underworld, the place of afterlife, the area of the great unknown. So there's a kind of a stark quality accompanying Jupiter's uh, move uh, into Scorpio. But these are events as well, in a way, that are behind us. These are things that certainly the Pluto-Mercury uh, square and the Sun-Pluto square, these are um, about events that have already passed. In a way, Pluto really is the nemesis of the Sun. It's the dark half. It's the brother or sister or family member that's close to us but that we have difficulty in coming to terms with. It's a kind of a face-off between life and death in a way. It's interesting that Pluto, uh, sorry, Jupiter will be in Scorpio until the 8th of November now 2018. It leaves Scorpio on the back of a new moon in Scorpio in the 15th degree and the new moon always signifies a sort of a new birth, a new start. So this is all about, which you would expect from Jupiter, this is the big cleanup, uh, where you think of Jupiter in Libra is trying to maintain balance and trying to keep the balls in the air and trying to avoid making the uh, decision. When Jupiter comes into Scorpio, things come to a head. We have to be straight with ourselves, we have to be straight with others, because that is the way to move forward. It's really a sort of shoveling through the shit, basically of uh, the whole of the previous cycle of Jupiter. When we get to Wednesday, we see Mars is square Saturn in Sagittarius. So Mars in Virgo is very much about perfecting something. We ask a lot of ourselves when planets, uh, where planets are in Virgo. These are very high demands. And when Mars squares Saturn, it's a reality check. What is realistically possible? And what can we really change? And what, uh, so it's time to reflect on our agendas and bring our uh, goals into, um, into yeah, to reflect on the reality of the situation and adjust. It can also be a stop sign, Saturn, and it's sort of saying, wait. You know, Saturn is a great waiter. Wait, give it time, hold back. It's a stop sign, possibly, as well. And saying to us, we don't have to make that decision just yet, but it's time to sort of seriously now start looking at where we are and you know, weighing up what we know about ourselves and, uh, you know, looking for the best way to uh, improve a situation or move forward in a way that reflects the reality of the situation. When we come to Friday, we see Mercury sextile in Saturn, which is why I think maybe that's Mars Saturn square. Might be an invitation to not act yet, but to wait just even to give it 24, 48 hours. Because when Mercury sextile Saturn we might get some new information, our thoughts might become clearer on a subject, we might be more orderly in our thinking, and we might as a get just get that little bit of extra added information that we need that will help us to move forward. On Saturday, this is a second planet moving sign within the space of a week. We have Venus moving into Libra. Interestingly, because of the mutual reception between Venus and Mercury, Venus has been collaborating, if you like, with Mercury. But now Venus no, need, no longer needs that help. She can now go it alone. She has the right allure now. She has the right aura about her to command her own authority. So this is a commanding performance, possibly by a woman. 
and this is uh, emphasised by the Moon conjunct the North Node in Leo on the same day that Venus changes sign. So uh, a very, uh, a very fine week, which is introducing the themes, if you like, of Jupiter moving into Scorpio. Issues of right and wrong, of conscience, of um, communication, of um, coming clean with ourselves. I think this is a time to really look in the mirror and I've decided to, this is something I'm going to actually just as an experiment on do on a regular basis, just sit and look at myself and have a look at what I'm seeing. Yeah, this is uh, Jupiter in Scorpio time. We need now to really uh, take stock of ourselves and yeah, come clean. Okay, thank you for listening. Feel free to share. That was my take on the week. Goodbye.